They have a complete disconnection. They have so much to sort out. Let's start now. Chris and Aaron are the definition of dysfunctional. I must confront Aaron head on about her controlling ways and find out why Chris is so beaten down. Hello. I'm John. Hey, John. Nice to meet you. Holy I know who he is. Totally shocked me. He's hardcore. I'm thinking I'm in trouble. Do you know who I am? I do. I've seen you help a lot of people. Yeah, and I'm here to help you. OK. For 35 years, I've been helping people, business partners, husband and wives. I'm really good at it. I've lived what you're living. 25 years ago, I got divorced. And it was because my wife and I became business partners. Oh. oh. We struggled for who would be boss. We fought. You're not husband and wife anymore, are you? You took the business to your home. Yeah. And how is the business doing? It's OK. I work a full-time job because the business doesn't support us, so. Um, he doesn't let me look at the budget, so I don't really know, like, an exact amount. What? You shook your head. Oh, no, I told her I wanted to look at the budget. I want to do it together. She doesn't want, she doesn't want to do it. That's not true. Well, you, you don't want me, to hear it. You don't want to hear. You told me that the money makes me a bitch, and so I shouldn't look at it. It does from a business perspective, but I was completely overruled, and that was where it all started. She feels like she's doing so much more than me, which really isn't true. I feel like a bitted horse, like I'm being directed and controlled. I know he's a hard worker, I just don't think sometimes he's a smart worker. He wasn't in control, and I was. Listening to what you're saying, you allowed the business partnership to take the lead over the marriage. So this comes down to one simple question. If you had a choice of walking away from your marriage or the business, which is it? The business. Why did you have to think about it so long? I just, I really don't know. That's bull I want to ask you again. What's more important to you, the business or him? Him. Tell him that. I think he knows you're more important to me. Do you? He doesn't know. What broke you down? So it was her and the expectation that was set before me of what I was supposed to be able to earn. I just want to have money so I can feel secure. It's just he can't make money. Have so. you lost respect for him? Yes. That hurts. You lost your significance. I just gave up. Is he going to fight for the business feeling this way? No. Is he going to fight for you feeling this way? Not the way I want him to. Of course not. I'm going to be really straight and direct with you guys. We have to be completely honest. We have to find out the core issues of why this is happening. It starts tomorrow. I have a relationship challenge for you that'll test your ability to put aside what's happening at home and with your business and just focus on each other. Now that I know the hardcore approach of John, I can get my mind wrapped around as to how to armor myself, because I'm going to need to take some gut shots in order to hopefully save our marriage. Thank you. Wow, these two have a lot of work to do. Before I can help Chris and Aaron work through their business issues, I need them to remember what it was like when they still liked each other. That'll be the goal tomorrow. All right. Bon appétit. Now for Bill and Lena, a couple already speaking of divorce, I need to better understand if they are here to mend or walk away. Mmm. That's very good. Good food. But I mean, I don't care. I just want to enjoy being with you. Do you want more fish? You said fish? you don't care about the food. You enjoy being with me? Yes. I don't know. Let me have you plate then. You don't care. Of course. I'm gonna have okay. that. Okay. You don't care about the food, right? You're so mean. What's the matter with you? I'm so happy to be here with you, just you and I. And I wish this moment stays forever. And we stay here. What did you have in your food? It's time to go talk. At this point, the relationship between Bill and Lena seems very one-sided. 
But if I'm going to save this relationship, I need both partners on the same page and willing to commit to do the work. Can I have the same thing as she had there? That's the fish, probably. Yeah. Hello. We have Think company. Think about it. Hi, Bill. How you doing? I'm John. John, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Lena. Lena, pleasure. Nice, nice to meet to you meet both. You. What a nice spot, huh? It is beautiful. Can't get any better than that. Well, I'm here to help you both. Why did you come here, Bill? Well, it was her idea, first of all. Yeah. We've been together for almost nine years now. Lately, we're having some uh, issues. Is he happy these days? No. Why do you think he's unhappy? I think I am the reason. He thinks that he doesn't love me anymore, but I feel that this is a phase he's going through. So and has he mentioned divorce to you? Yes. And is that something that you're really considering? Or? I've been talking about it for years now. So if it's something that you wanted to do, what made you not do it? Because I don't hurt her feeling. I so don't want to cause any pain to her. Do you guys have dinner together? Yes. I you wake up in the morning next to each other? Yes. You make love together? Yes. Doesn't sound like a man who wants a divorce you, does it? No. He's being dishonest in some way. If he wants to chase you away, the way to do it is not get in bed with you, isn't it? Yes. No, you can always because have sex without having uh, loving that person. I'm not gonna do less because I, uh, there's a problem. This is what I do, and I do it well. How do you make love to her every night if you want her to leave the you next day? The answer? Short. I believe life is too short. And every time you have a chance to have pleasure, you go for it. Boy, is he for it. He's trying to have his cake and eat it, too. You know what I think? I hold think that second, he doesn't want second, to get divorced, second. and I think Let, he uses it as a weapon against you. want to have your cake and eat it, too. Who would have a cake and not eat it? See how stupid that is? Who do you think you are that you can tell me what to do and not to do? I don't you know, know a man crap and that, who would want to push a woman away that has dinner with Hi, this is John Tapper. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Marriage Rescue.